Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on getting started with the Sync Fusion Flutter PDF library. In this video, you will see how to add the PDF library to a Flutter project. You will learn how to create a PDF document and add text, images, and tables to it. You will also see how to save the file and download the document in mobile and in the web. First, open the VS Code editor. You can also use one of the preferred IDEs such as Android Studio or IntelliJ. This computer was already set up with the Flutter development environment, so I can directly create a new Flutter project. Open the command palette and create a new Flutter project. Choose a folder to create the project within. Name the project My Flutter App. VS Code creates the Flutter project for you. First, run this application. Choose the Android simulator. You can also use the terminal to run the project. You can see the application with a button widget at the bottom and a text widget at the center. When you click the button, the click count is updated in the text widget. Now, let me show you how to add the PDF library in this app and create a PDF document instead of the text and button widgets. To do so, first, import the Sync Fusion Flutter PDF package from the pub.dev website. Open the pub spec YAML file, declare the dependency, Syncfusion underscore flutter underscore pdf using the latest version. When you save the file, VS Code runs the command flutter pub get to download the package. The download is completed now. Next, open the main.dart file. Import the pdf.dart library so that you can use the pdf library in this file. Let's write the pdf related code within the my homepage state class. Remove the code in the My Homepage State class for better clarity. Now, I will create a button widget and, while clicking on it, will create the PDF document and open it. Override the build method. Within the build method, return a scaffold widget so that you can set the button widget to its body. For alignment purposes, add the center widget. To the center widget's child, set the elevated button widget. Set a display text and set the on pressed property with a method name where the PDF creation code will be implemented. Now, we'll implement this create PDF method. Create a void method, create PDF. Define a PDF document type object and then create a PDF page using the add method. This will create a page within the document. To save as a PDF document, first you need to get the document as bytes, that is, list of int. Then save the file in PDF format, and then open it. Define a list of int objects by assigning the document's save method. Now, you can dispose the document to release all the resources used by it. To get the path to store the PDF document, and to open the file, I need to import the packages, path underscore provider, and open underscore file. To launch the PDF document in mobile app, let me create a separate file to define the method, let name it as mobile.dart. Import the packages open underscore file.dart and path underscore provider.dart. Sorry, let me correct the spelling mistake in the package name. To create a PDF file, import the Dart IO package. Define a new method, save and launch file, receive the bytes and the file name as parameters. Create a variable to store the path from the directory. Using the file class, create the PDF file in the path and set the file name. Then, write the bytes to the file. Now, call the open file class's open method by passing the file path. In the main.dart file, import the mobile.dart to access the save and launch file method. In the create PDF method, call the save and launch file method by passing the created bytes and file name. Save the file. The hot reload injects the new version of this file into the application in the Android emulator. Click the button, allow the app to access the device's media files. You can see the generated PDF document with one empty page. Now, let's add text to this page. In the create PDF method, 
define an object for this page so that you can add new elements to it. To add text in the PDF document, use the page's graphics property, call the drawstring method, and pass the string value. You can use the PDF standard font class to set the desired font. Customize the font family and size as you like. Save the file. You need to go back and click the button again to generate a new PDF document. Now, you can see the provided text in the document. Next, you'll see how to add an image to this document. In the project folder, we add a folder with an image to load them in the PDF document. In the PubSpec file, import the asset. To read the image data, define a method that returns you and 8 list. Import the typed underscore data package to access the U and 8 list class. Also, import the services.dart package and show only the root bundle so you can load the image from the folder. Define read image data method. Receive a string parameter to get the image file name to load. Define an object and assign the byte data from the root bundle's load method. Pass the folder name with the file name. Return the image file as a U and 8 list type. Now, in the create PDF method, use the graphics draw image method and pass the PDF bitmap object by calling the read image data method. Pass the image file name as a parameter. Then provide the area to draw the image, also providing the values accordingly so that the image will be drawn following the already provided text. Save the file and regenerate the PDF document. You can see the image following the text. Next, let me show you how to add a table to this document. In the create PDF method, define a PDF grid object and set three columns. Set a header to. Set values for the header cells. You can use the cells property and value property to set the values. Do the same for the other two column headers. Then, create a new row to add values to the table. Provide values for each column. I'm adding two more rows with data. Call the grids draw method by passing the page in bounds. Here a new page is added so that the grid will be drawn in the second page of the document. Save the file and regenerate the PDF document. You can see the grid drawn in a new page. Let's change the style of this grid so that the cell values are legible in this view. In the PDF grid object, set the style property with the PDF grid style object by passing the font with a size. Add cell padding so that the value looks better. Save the file. You can see the table values more clearly now. Next, let me show you how to save the PDF document in the web. Stop the application. To save the document in the web, you need to convert these bytes to base64, and then you can use an HTML anchor element to click and save the file. So, to access the HTML element, import the universal underscore HTML package. To launch the PDF document in web, let me create a separate file to define the method, let name it as web.dart. Import the package html.dart. Import the convert package so that you can convert the bytes to base64. Define a method with the same name that was used in mobile.dart file so that you can call the same method to save files in both mobile and web. Use the anchor element and pass the ref value as data application octet stream and charset with base64. This way, browsers can understand the file type. Append the bytes after converting them to base64. Now, set the attribute as download and provide a file name. Then call the click method. In the main.dart file import the web.dart package by adding a condition. 
if it's as a HTML library import web.dart otherwise mobile.dart file will be imported. In the create PDF method I have already called the method to save and launch the file. Now, all is set. Choose Chrome as the device and run the application. This time the save and launch file method will be called from the web.dart package. I have already added the Chrome debugger extension. Click the button. The PDF document is downloaded. Now you can see the PDF document. That's it. Let me summarize the main points. You saw how to add the Sync Fusion Flutter PDF library to a Flutter project. You learned how to create a PDF document and add pages, text, images, and tables. You also learned how to save the PDF document in mobile and in the web. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check whether you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.